Hello. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, pretty little basket for St. Valentine's Day or any other special occasion and uh, uh, how to decorate it in different ways. I am going to use uh, this uh, cotton crochet thread size 10 um, and the uh, crochet hook 1.95, almost 2 millimeters. If you are going to use similar size uh, uh, thread and hook, uh, your basket should be about uh, four inches in diameter. We are going to start with chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which we close uh, with a slip stitch to make a ring. Now, chain three uh, this is the same as uh, uh, double crochet another chain three uh, this is for separating double crochet that we are going to make here now double crochet chain three double crochet and we continue like this until we have eight double crochet. To finish the round, we are making chain three and slip stitch in the third chain that started this round. Now we are going to make four double crochet in each of these chains. So first we are going to do slip stitch to get under this chain chain three which we count as double crochet three more one two three and chain one to separate these groups four double crochet here chain chain one and we continue in the same way uh, until the end uh, of the round and um, at the, the end of the round uh, chain one and slip stitch in the third chain chain three which we count as a double crochet another double crochet two chain two and now five double crochet one in each double crochet of the previous round one in this space between these groups and two at the beginning of the next group we have five chain two and repeating the same pattern double crochet and double crochet one double crochet in this space and two at the beginning of the next group of the previous round two double crochet continue like this um, around the, the circle to finish the round after these three double crochet slip stitch in the third chain and we have another group of five now slip stitch and the second one this way we are getting uh, in this chain and now we are working in this chain uh, chain three the same as double crochet another double crochet chain two two double crochet in the same space chain two single crochet in the middle of the five double crochet chain two and we repeat the same group the same pattern of two double crochet chain two two double crochet 
chain two, single crochet, chain two. And we repeat this sequ sequence until the end of the round. As usual, slip stitch in the third chain, another slip stitch. Once again, we are trying to get under this chain of two. And here we are working two double crochet. The first one is chain three. Now the second double crochet. Now three triple crochet. Uh, turn thread over two times one two three another triple crochet one two three and one more one two three and two double crochet And uh, we are going to make these groups under each of these chains. And between them, we are repeating the same sequence that we had in the previous round. Chain two, single crochet, chain two. And now here, two double crochet, three triple crochet, Third one and two double crochet one and two chain two single crochet chain two continue the sequence until the end we are ending this uh, round with a slip stitch in the third chain and this part of the basket is ready. Now let's make the support. It looks like this. First row of the support uh, of the base is the same as the first row of the basket itself. So chain six, which we enclose to make a ring with a slip stitch and chain three, chain three, double crochet and we are putting this end of the thread inside the work to hide it chain three double crochet and continue this way until we have eight double crochet there are eight double crochet slip stitch in the third chain another slip stitch to get under this chain and the second and the last round of uh, the support of the base is the same as the last round of the basket itself. So chain three, the same as double crochet, another double crochet, three, triple crochet, one, two, three, And two double crochet. One, two. Under the next chain, we are making chain two, single crochet, chain two. And we continue the pattern. We are going to have four groups like this all together. Slip stitch to finish the round and uh, the base is ready and now we need to make handles for the basket i have already made the first one and uh, we'll make the second one together we are going to be using uh, these three middle um, a triple crochet uh, we are going to insert the hook pull the thread and make chain one which we count as single crochet now 
uh, putting this thread under our wave work to conceal it, we are making another single crochet and another one, so three. We are inserting the hook in the, th in the second single crochet here and making a slip stitch. Chain three, double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. The other side, slip stitch, chain three, double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And we continue in the same way. Uh, we need to have six more. Now we are going to hide all ends of thread uh, with a needle, uh, uh, weaving it through as many loops as we can. And cut the ends. Now we need to shape our basket. Um, I make a pretty strong solution of cornstarch, about two tablespoons in one cup of boiling water. Um, let it soak for a few minutes and uh, then uh, spread it on something that will give it shape. Um, I, for example, use um, this light bulb. Oh, that's why my basket is kind of flat. If you want to make it less flat, you might want to use a um, a turned over a cup or a bowl or something. When everything is dry, uh, you can uh, sew or better glue pieces together and decorate your basket uh, in different ways. I have a separate video where I am showing how to make uh, those uh, hearts, a bigger one, a smaller, um, shaped as a rose, or a little flat hearts like this. Watch if you are interested. I hope you liked the video. Uh, why don't you subscribe and push the notification button uh, to be informed of all the new projects. Thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.